how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well nothing has just released nothing os 3.0 beta and i have already installed this major update on my nothing phone 2a this update brings a lot of interesting changes and some amazing features that i'm really excited to share with you in today's video with that being said if you are a nothing phone user or you are planning to switch to nothing devices in the near future then this is a must watch video for you so make sure you watch it until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys first things first let's talk about the lock screen customization finally nothing has decided to add some cool customizations to the lock screen and all you have to do is simply long press on the lock screen here we get this brand new option that says customize lock screen and if i unlock my phone you will see this new fingerprint animation that's been added in the nothing os 3.0 now once we go into the customization page here you get five new clock styles that you can choose to customize your lock screen and all these go really well with the nothing design language now unfortunately you do not get the option to change the color or adjust the position of this clock but you do have the option to add some more useful widgets to your lock screen there is also this toggle present here which will expand the widget area and hide the main clock face so you can add even more widgets to the lock screen apart from widgets another change is that they have removed the dot font from many places including the pin unlock screen settings page notification panel and even on the setup screen you will not see the dot matrix font and it is now replaced by sans serif which does look clean and much better the next biggest change you will notice is when you open the quick settings panel we now have this redesigned quick settings which in my opinion looks much better than the previous version one thing that i really liked is that the background color changes to light when you are using the light theme on your phone previously the notification panel would always stay in dark mode irrespective of your device theme but now it matches the system theme which i think looks really good next they have also changed the entire layout and just like ios 18 we now have the option to change the shape of these toggle as per your need They have also added some new toggles and my favorite has to be this volume slider by using which you can easily change the ringer modes from silent vibration and ringing. Apart from this there is also this new brightness slider which looks much thicker than the previous version and we have the option to enable or disable the auto brightness directly from here. The good thing is you can completely redesign the quick settings as per your requirement. and if something goes wrong or you just messed up setting up the layout then you can just tap on this reset icon and get back to the default layout overall i would say they have done a great job with the quick settings panel and now it definitely looks much better and clean compared to the previous version next if you go into the widget section you now have two separate pages the main page will show all the official nothing widgets that come pre-installed on all nothing devices and if you swipe right you will get access to other third party widgets from different applications i really like how they have organized all the nothing widgets in this square shaped design and tapping on it will bring up different styles of widgets which you can apply on your home screen apart from this if you go into the app drawer here they have added couple of interesting features first there is an option which will allow you to pin your favorite applications at the top for easier access If you long press on any of the icons you will see this brand new pin icon and tapping on it you can pin that application to stay on the top all the time not only this they have also added a brand new layout for the app drawer you just need to tap on this three dot menu and here you can choose between the two options one is the default app drawer and the other one is the smart app drawer which is kind of inspired by the app library present on iPhones so if i select the smart drawer this is how it looks and the best part is it will automatically categorize all your applications with the help of ai so it's totally up to you you can decide whether you want to go with the app drawer or the smart drawer which will have all your applications in separate folders the settings menu has been redesigned and as mentioned earlier they have removed the dot font from the settings page making it much cleaner to look at you can see how the menu has been separated into different sections and thanks to the new sans serif font The settings page on the Nothing OS 3 looks much better and organized than before. If you go into the settings menu, there is this brand new feature called device diagnostics which allows you to test the display and touch response. I know it was already present, but what's new here is the battery status where you can see the actual battery health along with the cycle count. Apart from this, they have also added the predictive back animations throughout the settings page which was not there in the previous Nothing OS 2.6. 
Now finally if I talk about the animations and the overall smoothness, I feel the animations are really really smooth and the entire UI feels extremely fluid as well. So these are all the changes and new features nothing has added with the first beta of the Nothing OS 3.0. I am sure they will be adding a lot more features in the upcoming beta releases so stay tuned for that. Guys I am planning to make more videos on Nothing OS 3 and if you want me to compare it with other Android skins including the One UI 6.1 or the upcoming One UI 7 then do let me know in the comments section. And if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr Android and I will see you guys in the next one.